All right, listen up. I'm not doing the intro. I'm pretty much gonna cut this raw. Um, I watched a little bit of this trailer, of this breakdown, this guide so far, um, and I'm I'm mad because this is what I hate about fighting games. But at the same time, this is what I love about fighting games. And it's this weird dichotomy because some of this stuff is so ridiculously like in depth and complex, but then it's actually pretty simple, but it, it's, it's simple when you figure it out, but then you have to add the other layer of do that while playing footsies and neutral and worrying about his meter and worrying about his resources and everything else you're doing against your opponent. And this is why people don't like fighting games. I'll be honest with you. From the outside looking in, this isn't what people want to see. If you look at Street Fighter 6, and I hate to compare them because it's apple to oranges, but if you look at Street Fighter 6 as a new game coming out, and you look at Guilty Gear Strive with their last character in Season 2, and you see these two, right? And you're like, okay, I want to play one. You see this, Guilty Gear Strive, Asuka? You're not playing that shit, bro. No way. If you're looking at a new fight game to play, you don't know what you're into, you're not playing this. It's too damn much. It's just too much. It's cool for us who are indoctrinated, who drunk the Kool-Aid. It's cool for us. But come on, bro. You spent all this time. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm split. I don't know how to feel about it. It's not bad, but it's just this is the shit that we do not want for new players. Keep it in. I love it. It's what people love about this series. It was, it's what people love about fighting games. This crazy in-depth mechanics that some characters can get but it's like this isn't showcaseable to me this isn't good optics like this doesn't look good to the outside because this is just too much i might be tripping though i watched it one time through while i was taking a shower and i was like what the fuck and they brought up a separate menu bro they brought up the oh my god they brought up a whole separate menu just to show what the fuck this shit is doing like and a whole bunch of cards i'm like dude am i too stupid to play gear to gear strive Am I too stupid to play Guilty Gear Strive now or something? Like, I don't know what it is, man. I might just be sleepy. I'm supposed to get some early sleep because the beta's coming out. And it's okay. I might just be sleepy. I need to get some sleep for the Street Fighter Six beta that's going to come out later on tonight. But let's do it. Like, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to catch more videos like this on Frame 1, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. All that good stuff. I'm sorry. I'm not in a good YouTuber mood at the moment. I'm, I'm, it's kind of blowed, bro, that this is what we're getting. And it's insanely complex. It's insanely in-depth to like memeable. To me, memeable status is kind of ridiculous. This shit is going to be a doozy. Asuka is a character defined by his arsenal of options using different spells. Use the right spell right. for the right situation to dominate the battle. Anybody else Nana. get anxiety? Like, I get anxiety Nana seeing that meter down there. When it's wild. Spells, performing bookmarks. Let's move me over a little bit so you don't have to worry about me blocking the screen on that side. I apologize for that. I surely do. But, jeez, Luis. It's a lot going on with this character, man. It's a lot going on. There we go. That'll work or change test case and some other actions. It also depletes when Asuka loses health. Okay, Asuka fair enough. gains increased defense while he has mana. That's good to know. I like mana that. Mana can be recovered with certain spells or the recover mana move. Chant. Expands mana to activate the spell bookmark under punch, kick, Slash or heavy slash. The amount of See, this mana is required I'm like trying to make sure I understand. Depending on the spell used, the spell will not activate if you do not have enough mana. Of course, perfect. the spell will be discarded from your bookmarks after activation. Chant can be canceled into certain special moves except for after activating certain spells. See this is see this right here? This is the part where I got pissed cuz I'm like whoa, whoa, what? Certain what? Why? What do you mean? What the f uh it's uh, Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Back and punch, kick, slash or heavy slash 
cancels into bookmark. Okay. Down and punch, kick, or slash cancels into recover mana. Down and heavy slash cancels into change test case. Forward and punch, kick, slash, or heavy slash cancels into champ. Jesus, bro. This shit. Each <laughs> spell has different properties. All of them are. Look at this madness. It's so sick looking, spells. though. It is so sick looking. A large but variety geez, it's of a spells lot. It's a are lot. available through champ. Some examples include firing fast moving projectiles or multi hit projectiles, firing long ranged, low hitting projectiles or overhead projectiles that home in on the opponent's position. The bookmarking is what I need to understand too. How does the bookmarking that work? Speeds up certain other spells. What or the hell? Draws in spells for a set length of time. What? No, no. Who said this was simple? Someone said it's actually pretty simple when you think about it. Who said that? We're two minutes in. Two minutes and forty-four seconds in, and it's already talking about how you can use a modifier to modify the status and the application of your four different bookmarks. That I'm not even sure how you get these bookmarks or how they even get picked. I think they're RNG. I'm pretty sure. But we're gonna find out more. I'm fine with being wrong. I could be tripping. We can come out on the end of this eight minutes and I could be completely wrong and be, and be an Asuka enjoyer, right? I don't think that's gonna happen. But I'm I'm kinda I'm kinda like I'm I'm I feel anxiety, man. I feel pissed. I don't like this. It's too much. It's too much, man. It's too much going on. Reducing the depletion rate of mana or restoring mana. See, wait, 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 wait. Did he combine the those two? Rate of mana or yeah, he did. So, because okay, I see the red, then the, um, the green the came out as well, rate right? Of mana or restoring mana. Jeez. Bookmarking Boy. spells in every slot or temporarily making it so that a spell is bookmarked automatically after one is used. Changing into a powerful spell at random, or making it so that the next spell used is not discarded afterwards, and many more. Find the right spell to use for your current opponent and situation. See the spell page in the command. Look at this bullshit. This is this made me stop. I was pissed when I saw this. I I, I I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad about this shit. This whole other menu. Wait till they show it later. Wait till they show it when they blow it up. Because it's actually ridiculous. It's a whole page. <laughs> it's like a Yu-Gi-Oh! starter guide. It's a whole page of what these cards do. And that's all cool. You know what I will say, though? This would be dope for a fighting game where all the characters had the same mechanic. It was a fighting card game, fighting game, for, right? Like, they're fighting game fighters, and they have card systems where they have a deck, and it's similar to this, the bookmarks and all that stuff. If it was a system built around that, where every character's played on the same playing field, that would be amazing. But the fact that one character in this game has this level of complexity and just depth, I don't get it. I don't get why you would do this. It's cool. Start a new game. Start a new game like this. Because I don't understand how this is, like... How do you see this as a new player? Now, maybe it's not for new players, but you're trying to sell the pack. But I guess it's at the end of the DLC pack, so it kind of don't matter. If you bought it, you already bought in. But um, I, I'm sorry. It's just wild to me. It's just wild. Like I said, I'm just ranting right now. Like I'm probably going to make a lot more Guilty Gear Strive videos in general because I'm really more interested in Street Fighter VI. But I, I'm just top of the dome shooting this video out because I'm actually like, I'm annoyed by this. This is ridiculous, man. It's just too much. Their effects. Bookmark changes the bookmark slot corresponding to punch, kick, slash, or heavy slash. Bookmarks a new. Sp okay, you know what's funny? All right, <laughs> this is what's funny with this. <laughs> Look at his kicks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm beaming. Look at him. He's got his body in the big shoes. Big shoes, Asuka. I'm here for it. Let's fucking go. I like that. That's funny. Is that intentional? I didn't, even, I didn't even pay attention to what they were saying. Let's go back. I'm sorry. Changes the bookmark slot. Big feet. Corresponding to punch, kick, slash, or heavy slash. Bookmarks a new spell if one is not currently bookmarked in the selected slot. So it's basically if you use a spell 
and then you lose it in that space in the PKS or HS slot, you can use this bookmark move to switch to another spell or randomly pick another spell as long as there's nothing there. But you do lose your mana gauge. Are there Discard. the number and the gauge? Do they correlate together? I don't know if I paid attention to that or not. Spell I apologize. If one is already bookmarked, the spell bookmarked will be selected from the current test case. Recover mana. Recovers mana during the animation. Holding punch, kick, or slash extends the length of the animation, thus recovering additional mana. The kick version depletes the tension gauge, and the slash version depletes the health gauge in order to speed up the mana recovery rate. Wow. That's one portion of his whole kit, though. That's cool. All of this stuff's cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this stuff is like stupid or lame. And it's so cool and great. You can do it with one character, but it's so much. I felt like you could have built a whole game off of this, bro. I felt like you could have started a whole new game genre off of this alone. I think you could have. It's like really that good. Test case. Inputting punch, kick, or slash during the animation will switch to the corresponding test case. Each test case has different spells available to bookmark. So switch them out to suit your current situation and opponent. Mm, okay, that's what it is. Test that's how you change them, I guess. One, which is equipped at round start or by pressing punch during this move, includes standard spells that work well as popes. So like loadouts. Okay, like loadouts. Okay, that's two, not that bad. I'll take it back. can be equipped by pressing kick I take it back. this move. Not specializes yet, though, but in I think close back. range combat, granting access to powerful mix up. Test case three, which can be equipped by pressing slash during this move, includes many spells with unique effects. Hmm. The spell. This. This I hated when I saw it. I was half paying attention when I first saw this earlier. Now, I was going to make a video, but I saw this and I was like, I'm fucking making a video on this shit because this is this is ridiculous. So test case. Let's go back a little bit. Each test case. I'll get this out the way so you can read it. or I'll read it to you. Each test case consists of 30 spells, which with each spell bookmark selected at random from its fixed set. So if you use test case one, right, you'll get potentially any of these various spells in this certain bracket of test cases or of these certain bracket of, well, at least, at least for this particular set is standard projectiles so you get these set standard projectiles in this and i believe the number next to them is the correlation of how likely you are to get them um that's the only way it can make sense maybe not i could just be bullshitting it's a cheat sheet you know you don't fucked up you gotta put a cheat sheet in your starter guide this is a starter guide a starter guide it has a cheat i'm i'm, I'm, I'm tripping it's not that big i'm tripping it's not that big it's okay um but yeah so i get this a little bit better um, with test case two and three, it's a lot more spells in these groups as you can see here. And but you get any four of these different cards in that certain set. And that's you kind of build a game plan off of that. If you know test case three, if you know all your routes in test case three, kinda, and all the combinations, um, it's probably very fun to lab with this character and play with them. And if you're ever gonna be a, like an actual competitive that uh, excuse me, a competitive threat with this character, you have to draw. I think you have to drop every character you've ever played before and concentrate on this character for day in day out, over and over and over again, just so you can get into that mindset of using these different random test cases and these random four numbered set move to strengths that you have and playing off of that. Plus, working with the meter management of you can use your health to speed it up. You can take away your super meter. It's it's a lot, dude. It's it's a lot. And yeah, it's cool. But dude, like, oh man, I I really want this to be a whole. This would be a whole other game. This would be a whole other game in and of itself. A whole other genre of fighting game. But it is cool. I'm not gonna say in line like it's not cool. It's just God is so much, and I'm lazy. And I was like, I, I I'm, I'm not gonna be able to play this character. I'm not gonna put the time in. Not at all. I'm not going to do it. That allows Asuka to teleport in any direction is especially potent. High compression submicron particle sphere releases a powerful projectile forward. The punch version is affected by other spells. Try using it in combination with the staff that increases. See, the and the staff, I didn't bring the staff. The, the staff is wild. In spells depending on your situation. 
Bookmark. Yes, it's cool. Yes, it's cool. Full but order. Still. This move allows you to change the spells in any slots you desire. Inputting punch, kick, slash, or heavy slash while the effect is active will change the spell in each corresponding slot. Whoa. The effect ends after a set length of time or after pressing dust. If any slots do not have spells set when bookmark full order is used, spells will be bookmarked in them upon activation. Hmm. Spells bookmarked by this move will be selected from the current test case. All right, so it stays in the test case. Okay, that's good. All of Asuka's offensive spells are excellent pokes and are great to throw definitely out. Definitely would be fun to play. They would definitely would be fun to play, but I just, like, I'm not going to try to master. After my play. The coat, bro. The, the drippy coat's making me want to do it. When you don't have the right spells on hand, you can prepare with bookmark or restore mana. Once you're in, try mixing the opponent up with forward and heavy slash or excipiter metron, an overhead spell. Test case two is a useful test case when at close range due to its many spells that help trip up a blocking opponent. You'll run out of mana if you use too many spells. I'm just watching the game right now. Like I'm just watching them get, get down with it. From the opponent's combo. Not have a good, better grasp of what they're doing. Between mixing up the opponent with powerful spells, bookmarking a spell and returning to neutral, or recovering mana to prepare for the opponent's approach. Jesus, right it is cool. For the right All right. Is crucial to Asuka's game plan. Thank All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Guilty Gear. All right, listen up. So, we watched the whole thing through. We paused it. We checked it out. Um, have my opinions changed from my initial viewing? Um, slightly. It is simpler than I did think at first. It is simpler. But I do feel like, again, this is, like, too much, bro. Like, this is just too much to be, like, taken seriously. Like, of course, there's going to be somebody who's nasty with his character. There's going to be a specialist out there. Who's like right now deciding I'm going to be Oscar player. I'm going to be the shit. I'm going to figure this out and make this thing work. And I think that's cool. But I will say that nobody. Let me not say that. No, I'll say it. no one's going to play this character like that. No one's playing this character like that. And to fight this character, the matchup knowledge you need on this character alone is, is a joke. This to me is a joke. Like. No, bro. No. You ha I think you have to like. You have to like quit your job <laughs> and like study this like like a thesis paper. Like I have to understand all the possible and impossible contingency plans that Asuka might put on me in this pool right now. Like and play fighting games on top of everything else. That's my point. And play fighting games on top of everything else. You have to worry about all this shit. It's okay. Arxis, I'm glad you did it. It's, it's good. I'm just like, damn, bro. <sighs> it's a lot, man. It's a lot. But that'll catch this video. I'm all messed up. I'm not editing this. I promise I'm not going to edit this. But that's the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you think about Asuka in this starter guy video. I did a little bit of a rant this time. This is very improper format that I usually do. I usually cut every two seconds. Like I, I just cut, 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 cut. Try to get to the great points, funny points of the video. But I just wanted to shoot this shit live. Basically, and just go. Because, um, oh boy. This is a lot, man. Good for them though. This Strive has some of the most talented game devs in the fighting game business. From their character animations, from their character design, gameplay, and aesthetically, um, everything about this game to me is very, very cool. But this is when they get stuff to me like a little wrong, bro. It's like, it's like if a, if like a nerdy kid's at school and he starts like to make jokes with the cool kids. I was like, hey. Look at the nerd's pretty cool, man. The nerd, nerd has a good sense of humor. He's like, yeah, how about this? Like, yeah, that's even funnier. Yeah, keep going, keep going. And he says a joke that's like a little bit too far. And it's like, ah, buddy, you were so close. <laughs> like, you were so close, bro. But you just kind of went a little too far. I see what you're going for. But maybe not go that far. It's okay, though. Rant's over. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll catch you next time. And deuces.